we're supposed to be catching deers, but there's no deer out here to catch. What the Okay. 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 Alright, so since we can't find any deer right now, I'm gonna tell you what I'm shooting. So the arrow I'm shooting is the extreme penetration. 300 spine. I have a gold tip, a collar, and an insert. And then I'm shooting the Schwacker 125s. I mean, I love the 125s. I've shot uh, my first buck with them. I've shot my elk with them. I've shot actually all my deer with them, and then my elk and my javelina. Um, I'm shooting release wise, I am shooting. Um, the true ball blade i love it i mean it's comfortable fits i feel confident with my with this release i really like it i mean if you haven't tried one of these out i would recommend it um i'm also shooting the psc mach one um i have an old qad hunter rest on it i got the bay beast finger set up front bar back bar um i got the uh, montana black gold site the same site i've ran for quite some time now um i have the carbon fate from pse's quiver and uh my arrow weighs 436 grains it's going about 315 feet per second so it's moving pretty fast. I'm also pulling back 77 pounds, so it makes sense. Um, I also have, like on my arrow, I shoot the heat veins. They're low profile, they're super quiet, and they, they actually guide my broadheads really good. So I like my arrow setup. I, I feel confident in my setup this year. So all we gotta do is find a deer to actually shoot at. <laughs> kind of hard right now <laughs> but we'll find something if not i'll shoot a boon and crockett jack for sure <laughs> five or ten feet you want to do uh the five please how are you doing it small medium or large uh both large the drink sprite i get a sprite uh two sprites actually what was that two sprites please can i get a sprite Two sprites, please. Both sprites? Yes. Anything else? Uh, can I just get some extra ranch and that's it? Extra ranch? Yes. Anything else? That's it. 1974 at the window. Thank you. <laughs> Games. We're getting Jack in the box right now because I'm starving. Uh, then we're going to go sit the water bowl. See what happens. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be uh, pretty good because we didn't have any big bucks coming yesterday. So probably today will be the day they water. Hopefully, if not, then tomorrow. But I feel pretty good about it. How about you? I feel pretty good about it. See what happens. I feel pretty good about these chicken strips. Thank <laughs> hey, you. Now hiring, there you go, Matt. Back on the yakana bakara, you? Do you mind just Take us there. You want any sauces? Sure. Uh, can I just get extra ranch? Alright, do you mind parking right up front? Yeah, sure. Right up. Hey, you want any sauces? Yeah, sure. Um, so we backed out of Elijah's spot. Um, because it was trash just today <laughs> um, we were gonna go sit the same water hole we sat yesterday but we decided to change things up last minute go to a different spot 
This is the spot where I missed that big buck last year because I hit the tree them. Such a tragedy. Idiot. We're gonna sit it. We're gonna sit it. Hopefully something comes in. I haven't sat it since last year. So we're gonna try it out. Wouldn't hurt. It's only the second day of the season, so see what happens.
eyes are off. That cow's messing with that doe right there. You see that? So I had to drop Elijah off. He had to go to work. So I went and picked up Evelyn. She's behind the camera right now. And uh, on our way into the water hall that we were sitting earlier, we saw two does. And then we had to wait till they they got out so we can come in. And right when we sat down, a spike came in. A spike was at 30 yards. I was tempted, not gonna lie. I was tempted. And then uh, I see in the distance and there was a buck that just came out of the out of the thick stuff. And then I saw some movement behind him. And uh, there was a pretty good buck. A buck I was definitely gonna shoot at for sure. And uh, they were starting to work their way in. We were getting set up everything. We had everything planned, but I have you can probably hear the cows right now. The cows pretty much kicked them out. They took off, but they didn't run, run. They just went back into the thick stuff. So, I mean, there's about six different deer right now. There's one coming. Yeah, I know. There's just deer coming in left and right, even though the cows are here. So, all we gotta do is wait for that shooter buck to come in. Hopefully present a shot, even if I miss. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, so stay tuned.
sick and tumbled over the cliff right here and we don't know what happened so we walked up to the dough <clears throat> and uh, we uh, <laughs> I'm just in shock right now like oh my god <laughs> did not expect this today at all um, freaking 2020 tagged out second day hell yeah I'm happy anyways he came in the cows spooked him out we uh we waited we waited and then we saw a little forky come out and we just waited waited and then um I saw a bigger buck we were checking on the doe because the doe was just laying there we went and checked the, on the doe and I saw the buck and I was like, there he is. They're gonna come right in. And, um, and uh, right when, right when he started coming in, he was coming in and uh, the, the doe ended up getting up and then started walking in the water and started splashing around. She might be in the water right now. She might have drowned, I'm not too sure. I don't know how to go about that. So, Two other does just came in from the right. They felt comfortable, so they started coming in. And uh, uh, I went to full draw, and there was a doe right in front of him. I was tempted to shoot the smaller buck because he was just standing there, 40 yards. And I held for like, it felt like an hour almost. That, that PSC Evolve Cam system, I'm telling you. It's the best, 77 pounds, and I held for that long at 80% let off. I hit him in the spine, but dropped him in his tracks. Schwacker Broadhead dropped him. Now, <laughs> we just gotta go get him, see how big he really is. He's not a giant, but he's big enough for me. I was, I was shaking, I'm still shaking, because I can see him from right here. It's crazy. Whew. Let's go check him out. Got my 2020 coos buck over the counter oh man i'm still shaking he's my biggest one so far and it's with the bow what i love to do um shot it with my psc stealth mach one as you can see my arrow still stuck out we tried ducking the arrow didn't make it the schwacker is actually went through the spine and it's sticking out of the other side 40 yards, smoked him, dropped him in his tracks, blood all over the place over there. I mean, I'm happy. I am freaking stoked. And then she recorded it. She was with me the whole time. She experienced this whole thing, what I love to do. She was even shaking. You said you were shaking, right? Yeah. Man. I was nervous for you. <laughs> How does it feel to see this happen? Like, um, well, how, like, like, would you want to do this? <laughs> if I want to do it? Yeah. Well, yeah. One. <laughs> right. With the dicking. Mm -hmm. AZ Fit Outdoors. I got it done. 2020. We just have to get Elijah. And uh, hopefully Rachel. Hopefully Rachel shoots her first uh, archery buck. But there it is. Spoon and Crockett. <laughs> I didn't have to shoot a boon and crocket jack. He shot me a freaking coos. 40 yards. Love it. Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Schwacker 125. Not even bent blades, nothing. And it hit the spine. Perfectly fine. Got me a coos buck. <laughs> That's why I shoot Schwacker.
over. Hello. It's official. I didn't realize it was recording. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> so, this is the entrance. Here somewhere. Right there. That's the entrance on the swacker. And then here is the exit. Look at that. Broke a rib. Oh my god. Slice twice. <laughs> One of the best views right there. Big buck down. Set on your best view. Meh.